All right, 2 Chronicles chapter 13, let's call this one for now, stabilizing as we are going to see the old wars and conflicts between Jeroboam and Rehoboam turn into new conflicts between Jeroboam and Rehoboam's son, the new king, Abijah, who is now reigning over the two tribes left to Judah. And as this conflict arises, it's going to seem like, seem like Jeroboam is the one instigating this one because Abijah is going to try to speak to him reasonably, understanding that the boundary between Israel and Judah is one that God seems to have set understanding even more that God has promised to leave David a man to sit on the throne of Israel at this time, Judah. So it seems that Jeroboam is overstepping his boundaries, something that Abijah is reminding him of as he says, look, even though you come to us with 800,000 soldiers and we only have 400,000 soldiers, and the chapter is going to describe Jeroboam's 800,000 as mighty chosen soldiers, even though it's just going to describe Abijah's 400,000 as valiant. I don't know if it's a significant difference, but that might be a nuance that gives Jeroboam reason to have confidence in the might of his army in addition to the size of his army. And beyond that reason for confidence, they got their golden calves, which might mean nothing to us, but those are their gods and they affect their level of esteem or confidence going into battle. Understanding one thing that we can relate to is the way in which even today people are talking about, oh, if you got enough self-confidence, you can do anything. Yeah, maybe, because in addition to all the confidence they might have in their army and their mascots, they got a better battle plan. Understanding that while Abijah is trying to appeal to reason, uh, Jeroboam is flanking him. And so by the time the fighting starts, Abijah is actually going to be surrounded, but that is not going to matter because it is going to seem that Jeroboam has done bad math because no matter how great an army he has and no matter how much he might have Judah outnumbered and, sorry, uh, whether or not they have all the confidence in the world and the better battle plan, ultimately there are circumstances that are larger than all of that. And sometimes we will actually call them, whether you believe in God or not, act of God. And so I sometimes quote Sun Tzu, who is only one military strategist who talks about the need to account for the elements who can inhibit even the best battle plans. And even beyond the elements, there are just certain times when God says, not today. And so beyond all of his disadvantages, Abijah seems to have focused on the most important issue. And that is, this is a boundary that God has set. And so even though Jeroboam might have gotten into the habit of testing this particular boundary, it seems that he is caught up in the same mistake that has cost many armies that we have studied before, and that is the mistake of presumption. Presuming that pushing boundaries he's been allowed to disregard in the past is going to get him the same results he's always gotten in the past. Understanding that at this point, it is a new administration in Judah with a fresh start that didn't come along with all of the same baggage that Rehoboam had. This time, we can't say exactly why it is, but God was not willing to allow Jeroboam to escape with merely the same consequences. Understanding that verse 20 is going to tell us that Jeroboam did not recover his power in the days of Abijah, and the Lord struck him down, and he died. Jeroboam's fall, opening the door for Abijah to lead Judah into a new era of peace. Understanding this, Abijah was not a perfect king. He is going to stray from God as well, but like the wise kings before him, he's going to realize at least this, that no matter what his disadvantages are in the battle, if he is able to lead Judah in a way that respects God's boundaries, God can create an environment favorable for Judah to enjoy a new era of stability, which is exactly what they're going to do as Abijah passes the reins onto his son, Asa.